Good morning, happy Vlogmas. I don't have my watch. I better go get that, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Oh, Gucci, you have an, a pig's ear snout thing. You don't wanna eat that. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Vlogmas day 14. The time is now 8.43. I am basically trying to move as quickly as I possibly can. It's one of those mornings. Basically, sorry if you can't hear me over the air con, it's really loud. I should probably put my mic on this camera, but yeah. I'm just gonna quickly do my face. Um, I'm gonna do it on camera. Just because for the past couple of days, it's been a little bit slow. As far as footage goes, I've just been so busy. I'll let you guys know what's going on today and I might be able to get more footage that way. Mom and dad are leaving to Thailand this morning so I will be taking them to the airport. Now originally I was just gonna go like bare face, like I don't really care what I look like. As you guys have seen in the vlogs, I basically don't wear makeup on a daily basis. To me, I'm like, I prefer to let my skin breathe. And if I can avoid wearing makeup, I will avoid it, like at all costs. Today is a little bit extra special because um, I had some spare time around 11ish, so I'm thinking of dropping mom and dad off at the airport by 11, by 10:30 even if I can. I'm trying to go down into the city because I want to have lunch with Mariah. And Mariah, if you guys saw my vlog a couple of days ago, she's like sort of our neighbor that lives down the road. I don't have any clean foundation brushes, of course. What's new? These are all my clean foundation brushes that I haven't gotten around to like putting away. Today we'll be using this like flat top kabuki brush. It's from Coastal Sense, it's the BR110 Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. This stuff is my jam. Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. This stuff is my jam. My arm is like getting tired from buffing. So now I'm gonna use some concealer. Gucci, are you all right? Tarte Shape Tape, always. Now I gotta put powder. Just gotta comb through the brows because I may have gotten some foundation in them. So for eyes, I'm probably going to run back to the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. I swear this palette is so good. I didn't even highlight. I'm gonna use um, Oh Darling by MAC. This is a beautiful highlighter. Woo! Holy cow, you guys. I went a little overboard. And then I'm going to spray my face using the Inglot setting spray. As I was saying about the eyes, I have to move a lot quicker than I thought now because it's already 9 o'clock. So I'm going to probably do the same eye that I've been doing all the time. I'm not trying to make my eye look too dark because I don't want it to be like very dramatic. I want it to be more light and inviting. You guys, I swear this shade, this shade is magical. Like I'm not even putting any water on the brush. I'm just applying it straight from the palette and it does something. Look at that, it just opens up the eyes. I can't even right now for lashes my usual uh, combo for the time being um, is the grandiose mascara from Lancome as well as the Too Faced better than sex waterproof mascara That's it for the makeup. I'm not putting anything on the under eyes because I don't want to like 
smudge and stuff um and lips i will probably figure something out on the way because i gotta go now talk to you guys later peace hi guys so i'm here at the Myra center i'm having lunch with maria we have some dumplings some xiaolong bao very excited her lunch break is only for like another 10 minutes so we have to get moving i'm gonna eat now say bye mariah bye. see you later Hi guys, it's so freaking hot. <laughs> so I finally got home. It's been a long, crazy day. Basically, the last thing you saw was I went to see Mariah in the city. After I finished in the city, I was like, oh, I wanna go to the Mac Pro store and that's in the valley, like on Jane Street. So then I ended up jumping on any of the lines that was gonna go up north or like in that direction to get off at the valley, which I did. And then I trekked all the way to the pro store which like if you think about it it's only about like a 13 minute walk which isn't like too bad and i ended up taking like a shortcut or two so it was fine well anyways i get to the pro store and i did something really impulsive and i bought a zuka now i would normally not purchase one because i already have a train case however the one that i have from inglot is is shit like i really don't want to say that because it's held up for a couple of months but like i've noticed that the back of it is basically tilting inward now and it just doesn't like sit up right the same way and if i plan to use that in the future and i have a very hairy hairy <laughs> I didn't mean to say hairy. I have a very heavy kit. Because there's no backbone to it, it basically will continue to just tilt itself until it finally folds in half. It's not good. And if I'm going to be carrying that on the train, like sometimes I'm like pulling the handle up to wheel it and then I have to like pick it up. But because the handle is up, like to grab the handle is like, it's, it's a mess. So then I just pull the handle and carry it and the handle's really flimsy now the inglot one although i spent like a lot of money on it it is not going to have the lifespan of a zuka and the zuka when i think about the price points of it both being brand new it's only like a 50 dollars difference that's a lie it's probably a 150 dollars difference but like I have to think about the lifespan of it and the quality of it and how long will it hold up for me. And my um, TAFE instructor, her name is Jess, and she used to work at Mac and her train case has survived six years and it's a Zuka. And like my Inglot one, I only had for since May and then maybe in August or September, I like told them that it broke and then they replaced it. And if that's only been like September, October, November. It's been only four months since I just replaced it. It's and it's falling apart again. Then I really don't think that this is meant for me. I need to really consider getting a heavy duty like case or something. Moving forward, because I did that, I was carrying the box from the pro store back to the train station and I called up Bryce and I was like, hey, can you pick me up? He's like, no, I might have a client. And I was like, okay, let me try and get an Uber. And then like I tried to download the Uber app and it wouldn't download and then it said, that my account like uber doesn't work where i'm located and i was like but why is that when like you see uber drivers all around like something fishy you know what i'm saying then i couldn't get an uber so then i started walking carrying my big ass case all the way to the train station the train that i would have taken to get to my destination wasn't going to be coming for another 42 minutes so then i was like oh maybe i'll take an express train to like three stops past where i'm supposed to be jump on a train to come down to where I'm supposed to be and then we'll go from there and then I ended up doing that. The train wasn't gonna come for another 25 minutes from like the three stops far farther. Ugh, so then I had to wait then and I had, came back to you know where I needed to be. Then I picked up Gucci from my in-laws and then I dropped him off at our house. And then I needed to go get a Christmas gift for Jess and Jess is like one of my friends from the dog park and her daughter is like the love of my life like she is so freaking adorable i found the perfect gift that i wanted to get her and i checked google i checked online and they were like oh you can get it at harvey norman so then i made sure to like call the harvey norman make sure that i can they had it in stock turns out they don't it's an online only exclusive 
I Googled it again and turns out a Dan Murphy would have it. So then I went to freaking Dan Murphy and all the way I get there and I tell the lady, I'm like, oh hi, I'm looking for this item and she's like, we don't have it. That's an online only exclusive. And I'm like, what the fuck is up with people making this stupid item? An online only explosive. So I could either wait until Jess gets back from her holidays to order it, or I can find her a whole new gift, but I don't really want to get her another gift because the one that I have in mind is like brilliant. So I'm finally home now from that, sitting in the air con because it's super, super hot. And I want to unpack my kit in my Inglot bag and put it in my Zuka. So I think I'm gonna film that and you guys can see like a what's in my makeup kit. And then there's Gucci who's just literally plopped out there. The great thing about having this case and the Zuka is that this one comes with like bags inside of it. Oh, Bryce is home. But yeah, at least I can put like the bags from this Inglot bag into my Zuka. Is that the quickest drive home or what? Nice of you to show up. Is that the quickest drive home or what? Um, not really. It's like 20 minutes. Someone stole our plants, did you see? No. The, Which one? The cactus. The, uh, succulent. What? Gucci's running. Gucci's running. No, someone didn't steal it. It's just knocked over. Who knocked it over? It's not stolen. Do you want to go across the street with Gucci? Or do you want to go to the dog park? Okay. Okay, bye. Bye Gucci. Bye Gucci. Bye. Uh, Have you. fun. Love, lovely to meet you. Love you. Be gone. Be free. See you forever. See you forever. Okay. Bye Gucci. Bye Gucci. You're grown now. You can take care of yourself, can't you? Because you're a runner. You're Isn't that right? You're Isn't that right? You just want to run away? Because if, yeah. if you just want to run away, you should go now. Bye. Now's your opportunity. Bye Gucci. And you know, we're, we're not going to stop you. Because you're grown enough, you can take care of yourself, can't you? See you later. <laughs> Gucci, get back here. Come on, inside. Gucci, come on. Come on. See this? It's making like little Good tiny, boy. tiny little. Oh, cute. Yeah. Battery's gonna die. Let's rearrange the kit, shall we? First things first, I have my like disposable mascara wands, lip gloss wands. I also have disposable sponges and a powder puff. And then I have my brushes. I keep it in a case like this because when I'm done using any of my brushes that are like soiled and dirty, I leave them underneath the brush belt and then I like zip up the brush belt and let it sit like on top and then I just shove it straight into my kit and it's real handy. This is my eyeshadow palette and then I made this highlighter palette. So if things decide to stay, I'll show you guys. This is my contour and blush and highlight as well as my powders like face powders and eyebrows eyeliners mascaras and whatnot this is my lip bag so i have like liquid lipsticks that are matte and like usually transfer proof i have glosses underneath and then i have like lipsticks that i've depotted in the side and then lastly this is my face bag which contains primers foundations and concealers and I feel like I could condense this down because at the moment it's really heavy and I only use like five or six of the bottles of foundation regularly so any of the ones that I know I won't be using I'll just take it out I think that would be pretty dang smart and then on my, the sides of my my kit I have um, q-tips I have my beauty blenders I have my light um, that clips onto my phone so if I want to take photos like in dark lighting as well as a fish eye lens so if I ever wanted to do like close-up eye shots I have makeup remover wipes I have a color switch which looks like that and I have tape because you never know when you're gonna need it on this side I have setting spray which I'm running out I bought another one so I'll probably put that in my kit now I have um, Purell hand sanitizer we got alcohol to disinfect because you never know 
I have a couple of other setting sprays. Um, not this one. Setting spray from Australis. I have brush cleaner. And then I have the L'Oreal Infallible setting spray. And then I have a beauty blender cleanser solid to clean my beauty blenders if anyone needs me to clean their beauty blenders at the last minute. I have all my concealers in here and I don't want to take anything out from here because I have like a whole range of shades. The primers I have are the uh, blur one. I This is running out. I have to get the backup that I have in my room. This is the L'Oreal Lumi, the Magic Lumi base. And then this is the L'Oreal Mattifying Base. And these are really good. I love having these in my kit. I have um, Face and Body. These are in C1 and C6. So I use these mostly to change up the color of foundations if I need to make them darker or I need to make them lighter. As well as if people usually say to me they want a natural finish, then I will put like maybe half of Face and Body and then half of Studio Fix. And usually that gives a more like wearable and comfortable finish and feel to the face. At the moment, I have five shades of the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. If in case anybody is in between any of those shades, I usually mix the face and body. I also have, and I don't stick these ones in with my liquid concealers because they're different consistency and it's more for like blemishes, whereas the liquid ones I usually use for highlighting underneath the eyes and in the center of the face. But I have the um, concealers. I think these are studio finish concealers and they are in light, medium, and dark with my like contour, highlight, and blush. So this is like my pink blush palette because some people prefer pink blushes. And then this one from Sephora has like peachy blushes, which I like to use on more fair skin tones because the um, colors just suit better. They also have a um, bronzing shade here that I use on my really fair clients. I also have, these are the Australis Contour Kits, and then I have the um, Kat Von D. This is the shade and light, and I've like hit pan on these two shades already, so it's looking like I might have to either pick this one up again or get like contour powders in like a pan and then create a palette. I'm not really sure yet what I wanna do just because it, the time hasn't come for me to have to decide. I still have a little bit of leeway. This is my like face powder like kit. So um, I have setting powders. I have like fair, light, light, medium, and then I have uh, medium and deep powder and then I have like translucent powder and then I have moisturizer in here as well this is give me sun by Mac and um, I use this for like my light to medium skin toned clients because um, it gives a nice like warmth to the skin so that gets to stay and then um, Mary Lou by the balm is a good highlighter and this is exposed highlighter by Tarte, this is a beautiful, these both are beautiful and I need to have both in the kit because they both have different undertones. The eyeliners and eyebrows like container. And so I have a bunch of eyebrow pencils in a bunch of different shades. Um, I have like eyeshadow primer, I have gel liner, I have liquid liner, I have pencil, and then I have lash glue, uh, glitter primer, everything you can imagine that belongs with eyes and eyebrows is here. I created this like highlighter palette um, from Inglot that also contains a couple of like cheek products. Anyway, so this is my like eyeshadow palette and stuff bag. These are my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I also have a couple of Sephora ones in here and this is the Designer Makeup Tools Black Eyeshadow. These are my like most used palettes. So if anyone ever asks me if you could suggest a palette for your kit, this is actually the two that I would suggest first. And these are the Tarte Tartlet palettes. This one's Tartlet, Tartlet and Bloom. Tartlet and Bloom has shad shimmer shadows. Tartlet does not. They're all mattes. But um, yeah, these are my staple palettes. I always reach for these. This is my Lorac Gold Unzipped Palette. Um, and it has like a couple of gold shades that I find a lot of people prefer. And then this is my bridal palette that I created at Inglot. It contains purples, pinks, peaches, and like soft um, pastel colors. And most brides usually lean in this direction. So I created that there. Um, kind of like, hello, 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 no. 
No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I love you, boop. In this bag, I have all of my matte liquid lipsticks, so they're like non-transfer. I usually get mine from ColourPop. Um, I've also had some from like Model Rock. So if you guys are curious to know where, you know, which ones I use, those are the ones. Here I have glosses, lip balms, and pencils. So lip pencils for a red lip. I have this clear one from Sephora, so it works with any lip color. I got a pink one. And then here's my lash bag. Nothing in here gets out. And if anything, I need to put more in because I'm running low on certain styles. So oily. So that's kind of it for today's day. I pretty much am just going to clean up. We just had dinner. We had pizza. And um, I'm going to regret it later. I can see it now. Nothing else really exciting going on. It's really a day for me and Bryce to just kind of <sighs> relax. Because we've just been so crazy busy these last couple of days. We're going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas episode. And um, if you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, share the video if you would like. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Gucci, Gucci. Say bye. Say Gucci, say bye. With all my heart.